Shortcut is a fantastic product for selling products on your website. But the drawback is it has some default pages. For example, if you take a look at this, this is the default page you get when you install Shortcut. Now here's the dashboard. Now you can see here, my main header here is gone. And when we come over here on the checkout, again, my main header here is gone. Now there's no way of me actually going in and uh, creating all my branding and make this seamless with my actual website. But then I had a brilliant idea. What about using templates to create our custom pages? And that's what I'm gonna show you today with Divi. This tip I'm going to share with you is so awesome that it really changes the way you can use Shortcut with Divi. Let's dive in and let me show you. So I've already gone ahead and installed Divi. So what you wanna do is to come all the way down here to Divi and click on Theme Builder. Hey, by the way, I forgot to mention this. If you purchase Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to the Divi Jumpstart course. This is a course that will teach you how to use Divi, saving you hours and hours of time trying to work out how DV works. All right, so over here now, we are in our theme builder. So what you wanna do is to click here on this plus button to go into your template. Now, if you scroll all the way down here, this is where you start to see the shortcut stuff. So here we have the ability to go in and create our custom pages from our template. So I'm gonna come over here and say, all shortcut products. So I'm gonna come over here and then create the template. Great, so now we can start building it. So I'm gonna click on, add custom body, build custom body. Now remember, this is what our product page looks like. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to click on this plus button here and add a single row. And in this row, I'm gonna add a text module. I'm gonna select that. Let me just snap this over to the left so I can see what I'm doing. The next step now is to come over here and click on dynamic content. So this is where I wanna go in and choose a specific dynamic content, which is our post or archive title. Great, so now that I've selected this, the next step now is to come over here to design, text, and I'm gonna change this font to Poppins. Now the beauty of this is, once I set up this template, it will apply to all the products on my shortcut shop. Okay, next I'm gonna make this uh, bold or semi-bold, make this slightly bigger and add a bit of letter spacing like that, make it all caps. So that's gonna be my title, I'm gonna make it white as well. And finally, I just wanna center this. Great, now I can save. Next, I'm gonna come over here now, click on this gear icon, go to my background, and give this a background color. In my designs, I like going with a very dark gray. So for now, let's work with that, and then you're gonna to go to the design here, go to spacing, and give this a bit of padding. So let's go with about 2%. The next step now, we want the content that's gonna contain all our product information. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button here, add a new regular section, and then in this section, I'm gonna go and add one row. And then finally, I just need to add post content. I'm gonna save that, and pretty much I am good to go. Now, if I need to add any more things here, like an email opt-in and so on, I can always go ahead and add it over here, but I wanna keep this uh, design very, very simple. Next, I'm gonna come over here now, and I'm gonna go into design, text, so I just wanna change all this text here to my actual font. I know I could have done this in the theme builder, but uh, it's just easy for me to go in and select it here so that you have both options to work with. Next, I'm gonna come over here on my font, make sure I choose Poppins, and I'm also going to increase the size. I'm gonna set this to 1.2 EM. Okay, add a bit of line height, and I think that's looking great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So this now is the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and see what our product page now looks like. So this is what we had, and let's see what happens when I refresh this page. Look at that. So now I have my product name here, Mac product. I have my description, and I have my add to cart button. Like I said, I can actually go in here and add more information to this template. Perhaps maybe I wanna go in and add a testimonial on the left side. I can pretty much go in and do that. In fact, you know what? Now over here, this gray doesn't look great. So let's change this color because there's too much gray now over here. So we're gonna change the background, come back over here, go to our background. So I'm gonna use that as. So now let's take a look at our product page. So I'm gonna refresh. Look at that. Now already, that looks way much better. We have our product here, we have our testimonial. Now we can add even more items here to make it even more populated if you wanted to. All right, so enough about the product page. Let's move on to our dashboard. Again, you can see this is what it looks like so far, but ideally we wanna change this and make it look much, much better. So again, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna close out of here. Now this time, 
our new template here is going to be our dashboard. So we're going to look for the dashboard page. So now we can go to specific pages and here we are. So if I hover over here, it's going to show me all my pages. So I'm going to go in and choose dashboard, create templates, and then I'm going to go in and build from custom. So just like what we did before, I'm going to go in add a single column and let's add a text module. So over here, we're going to add our dynamic text. Come over here to design text. Now remember, we set this at 1.2 EM, all caps, and we're going to add some letter spacing and let's make it semi bold. Okay, so I've added my color. All I have to do now is to go to my header background. So I'm going to go in and add my color in here. Now, if you wanted to add more information in here, you might as well go ahead and do that. Not a problem at all. Next, I'm going to click here on this plus button, go to regular, and we're going to add a single column here. So in this column, we're going to add our post content. So now this means we have greater, uh, great flexibility to go in and to play around with this. So let's say I want to add a background color in here. I can just go in and do that. But of course, this needs to be a very light gray. Next, I'm going to give this some breathing space. I'm going to come over here to design spacing and let's add padding. So we're going to go with 6% pretty much on all sides so that our design here has some breathing space. Finally, we're going to come over here to our border and give this about six pixels and then save. All right, so that's looking great. Now, if we wanted to add any more information in here, maybe below this uh, post content, again, you can go in and add because we are not limited to pretty much anything here because we have a template. So uh, let's save this and uh, see what our dashboard page now looks like. I'm going to close out of here, save changes, and then I'm going to come over here now to my dashboard and refresh it. And just like that, now we have our dashboard and it's nice and simple. Now, if you wanted to add any navigation um, information here, you can add it all here, no problem. And we can just continue doing this. Uh, we do that to the shop as well and also the checkout. But this time I wanna show you the quickest way of achieving this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate this like that and I'm going to go to specific page and go to shop. I'm gonna save it. And just like that, I've added this template to my shop page. I'm going to save changes. Now, because there's dynamic content, my shop page here is just going to be populated easily. So I'm going to come over here to shop. And just like that, I have my shop here. And you can see the title is there. And when I scroll down, here are all my products. And then when I click on my product, you can see here we have a beautiful design. So as you can see, when you start using the theme builder, this opens up new opportunities of how to structure your shop with Shortcut. So, so far, this is the best way to use Shortcut. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with these standard pages that Shortcut creates for us. But this solves the problem of having... So this solves the problem of uh, not... So this solves our main problem. So I'm really happy that we were able to go in and do this. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.